I'm back and showing you my new setup and a little bit of a tutorial of how to control your gimbal with the six channel receiver and um, transmitter on your 350QX. Um, first off, I want to thank Liftbag um, for the video that showed me how to do the proper uh, six channel mixing in order to get the gimbal control with the DX6 and receiver. So, first off, I did get myself the Feutech G3 gimbal. Um, just went to Ace Hardware and got myself a couple of, or four bolts, um, some spacers, and some locking nuts. As far as the wiring for it, um, I don't think you'll be able to see, so I won't show you that. Um, I did solder. I did open up the quad and solder directly to the uh, where the power leads connect on the 350QX's board. Um, I wouldn't necessarily suggest that the solder on there is really hard to get melting and. Um, you could risk frying the circuits if you're not careful. Um, I didn't have a balance plug connector when I did it, so that was my solution to get past that, but if you have the chance to go through the balance plug, I would suggest doing that instead. Um, as far as how to control the tilt on the gimbal, um, you can't really see it. But inside in the front here, I have um, the AR610 six-channel receiver, which came with the DX6 transmitter when I bought it, um, which is exactly <laughs> why I bought the DX6. Um, originally, I was going to go for the 6i and buy a receiver by itself. In addition, um, the guy at the store told me that the DX6 came with the receiver, and that was the selling point for me. After I got it home, I was very, very happy that I got the DX6 instead of the 6i, just from um, things that I've heard about people with the 6i and not being able to program all the switches and stuff the way that you want. Um, and it's just a nice transmitter, backlit. Um, very, very customizable. Um, this is my first computerized one, so I don't have anything else to compare it to, but, you know, I'm very happy with it. Um, so, as far as how the AR610 is connected, um, I have on the gimbal the signal wires run in and connect to the auxiliary port on the AR610 and then to power the receiver I have that connected to the servo connection on the 350QX's board. Um, the far left is your ground and then your middle is your positive and so that powers the AR610. So, oh, also I have running to the outside are two connections for um, binding the AR610 so I don't have to open the thing up. If I ever have to rebind, I can just uh, connect the bind plug to those wires there. And now I will show you what control I have and then I'll show you how I set it up. So, now what I can do Back two. Back three. Back four. 
guys have three, actually six, because the one gives me those. Switch back up. It's a little tedious because I have two switches to control um, more resolution with the tilt of the gimbal, but it solves the problem of what I need. So to show you how to do that, on your DX6, um, I know this works with the 6i because uh, lift bag, uh, the one who I got the information from, he was using, I think it was a DX6, either that or is a DX8 or 9, but with the 6 channel receiver. Um, but all you need to do, or be able to do, is the mixing. So, go into your mixing. First thing you want to do is uh, create a new mix, choose Curve, um, and then for me I used G and F for my controls on this. You can choose whichever switch you want, um, I just chose those. So you choose your switch number that you're going to use as your main, and then AUX1, and then your switch will be G. I'm going to back out of this because I already have this programmed and just show you the settings. So, what I have for the resolution, and you can change this, um, and as, I, as you change it, you can kind of test where the levels are, and it'll sh automatically uh, move the gimbal for you, and then you can set whatever um, you want for your levels. So, Okay, there we go. So as you can see, the gimbal's tilting down as I change this. So just adjust it to the positions that you like. So I just have mine set at negative 125 negative 85, and negative 43. Because that gives me the resolution I want. <clears throat> Go back. And then the other switch to give you that added resolution. Um, like I said, I just added it to F. So I did F to auxiliary. Switch is F and then 108 for that. And that gives me the straight down. And then also kind of brings your G switch options down a little bit more. All right. One more thing that you have to do, um, this was something he had in his video and I just did it and I have, I'm not sure exactly why I haven't messed with uh, eliminating this, but it's here just in case. So you want to mix aux1 to aux2, switch G, and then your settings, these ones you actually want to match as far as I'm aware. 
So negative 125, negative 66, and negative 10. And then that gives you uh, the control of your gimbal without a slider on a six channel receiver. Um, and one last thing, since I have the uh, 350 with the DX6, um, to be able to get agility mode, which uh, if you don't have the gimbal, um, you'll probably make use of with the gimbal on. There is no way I'm going to try to fly this in agility mode, um, but it's always nice to have the ability to if you want. So I have it set so that when I switch switch C, it goes to agility mode. And so what you want to do for that is do a gear to gear mix. Um, set your rate to 23% and then your switch will be, for me, I have switch C. Um, you can choose whichever one you want. Um, and I have mine for zero is off and one is on. And now, what that does, if you're in um, AP mode, nothing happens. If you're in stability mode, nothing happens. You have to be in smart mode, and then it will switch to agility. And so that's about it. Um, I am very happy with my setup. Um, the gimbal I had going for the 4th of July, I did not have the DX6 yet um, for that. Um, I will be putting video up soon after I get some editing done to show you the actual gimbal in action. Um, that's it.